The live streaming software company known as Streamlabs most recently rolled out a browser-based streaming app for live streamers. It's called Melon. Have you heard about Streamlabs Melon app? Well, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you stay tuned to today's video. What's happening is Dale here at Live Streaming Tech and today's video is sponsored by the Melon app. That's not going to stop us though from sharing some of the candid insights and experiences that we've had so far with Streamlabs Melon app. What is the Melon app? Essentially it is a browser based streaming software and in their words it's brought to you by the team behind Streamlabs, Melon empowers creators to live stream with ease. So let's say you don't want to use encoding software like Streamlabs OBS or you feel a little bit overwhelmed and you're not quite tech savvy, then the Melon app is possibly for you. First thing I'm gonna show you is how to invite a guest uh, using Melon. So. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to invite my brother. So we're going to click up in the upper left hand corner, invite guests. It's going to copy the link. I'll go ahead and send it to him now. Dale L. Roberts joined. Okay. So once he joins, uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead show on stream. Now I'll be able to hear him and he can hear me. Now notice that there is slight pixelation when your guest joins. This is the reason why I'm inviting him before we actually go live streaming. It gives the app a chance to catch up. Now you notice he's no longer pixelated. Go ahead and do a sound test. Dale, let me hear you. Checking one, two. Can you hear me loud and clear? Give me a clap. We're going to check audio latency. Okay, there is slight audio latency. Now, it usually takes anywhere between 10 to 30 seconds. We've kind of noticed this. We've played around with it all morning. Uh, but once it gets going and running, just be patient with it. It is done by the team from Streamlabs, so you know that they're going to definitely iron this out uh, eventually. Now, we're going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and schedule our Facebook Live. We're going to stream to Facebook Live. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click this schedule. Okay, so now it's asking us what profile we want to go to. We're going to want to go to the live streaming community. So that's the one thing. Make sure, uh, especially if you have multiple business pages or your profile or whatnot, make sure you're going to be streaming to the right uh, page that you want to go to on Facebook. Now, here's the thing. It says, make sure that we give Melon permission to do this. So we're going to go ahead and click here to verify. We're going to scroll down and it's going to be under advanced settings and we're going to it's at the very 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 bottom it's apps we're going to go ahead and add apps over here in the search bar upper left hand corner we're going to type in melon that way you're not scrolling through all of them we're going to go ahead and hit add now basically we have given melon permission to use the uh, facebook we're going to go hit next streaming information please select platform okay and it deselected that not a problem. Now it's going to ask, when do we want to go live? So we are going to go ahead and we are going to hit. Now, this is where you could put in your title. I already have the title filled in, Testing Out Melon by Streamlabs. Uh, if we had a thumbnail, this is where you would upload your thumbnail for your live stream as well. But since this is just a, really a test stream, we're going to just go ahead and leave that blank. We're going to go ahead and hit schedule. So now here, our, our uh, broadcast is successfully scheduled. So this is when you would want to copy the link and paste it to social media or post it to your Facebook, whatnot. I'm just going to okay. punch the go live. Okay, now we're going live in four, three, two, one. Okay, so as you see here now, we are live. I'm gonna go ahead and show real quick here how to edit uh, the screen. As you see, I can pull Dale in and out. I can hide him from the stream. I can show him on the stream. We can also change the views. Personally, I like this one best. You also have that one. And if you have a third member, it would sandwich them in between. And this would also be for a third member. It would put them down here as well. Let's go ahead and do a screen share. So we'll go ahead and uh, show OBS over here on my other monitor. Now here's our screen share. And if you want to blow up that even bigger, then you would click that. That's how you would do a screen share. You just click stop sharing. Here's the thing. When you have the free account, obviously we have the pro account, but uh, you would have this logo up. So really, to be honest with you, just, you know, the, the pay to have that logo removed or to add your own logo, that's, I think, well worth the money alone right there. That's something that Dale and I probably yeah. should have done. We probably should have uploaded our own logo. We also have a banner or as Dale and I would call a lower thirds. So I just have kind of a generic one set up right down there. You can once again, you can go in and you can edit it as well. You also have the ticker. We're going to go ahead and turn that on. 
We can also change the backgrounds. Here's the one thing that I really think is a bonus deal on the on uh, using Melon. They have a plethora of backgrounds. So anyway, uh, as you see, you can click through them. There is a bunch. You can also upload your own background. And this is really good for like, say streamers like Dale, where he loves to have that overlay dialed in. Okay. Here's another feature too. Recording settings cannot be changed during the live stream. Please end the stream to change the settings. So uh, right now I have it recording. So it is going to their cloud. This is another cool feature. You can also turn on participant names. As you see, it shows my name on the upper left-hand corner and my brother's name upper left-hand corner as well. What about the pricing plans with Melon? Now, first of all, there's two pricing plans. It's free or it's paid. Free is kind of nice. And the features include streaming up to four hours at a time. You can have up to one guest. You get limited brand customization and you have to have the Melon branded watermark anytime that you are streaming from them. Now, for the premium plan, what they call the pro plan, it's a little bit more detailed here. So on a monthly plan, you're paying $25 per month. Right now they're running it in beta. So there's an early bird price of 40% off, making it about $15 per month. Now, if you do the annual plan, that's $20 per month. And with the early bird offer, it's 37% off, which makes it $12.50, which is half as much as the full pricing plan. I would recommend go with annual. All the features include unlimited streaming, up to six guests, unlimited brand customization, no Melon branded watermark, get rid of that. You can stream in full HD at 1080p, 30 frames per second. You get VIP support, stream recording. This is kind of nice that it backs up your streams and you have something recorded for you for later if you need to download it and repurpose some of the content. Custom RTMP, meaning that if you have a code for a particular platform, could be Amazon Live, or any other number of places you can actually stream to those multi-streaming which means you can aggregate out to multiple platforms at the same time rather than just one and then disconnect protection so if for some reason uh, something goes wrong on your end of things maybe your internet drops for a half a second you can pop right back up and not lose your place let's talk about melons pros and cons hitting the pros first number one Melon is super easy to use, much easier than, say, Streamlabs OBS. Number two, Melon gives you tons of backgrounds. That's right, I was actually quite impressed with the amount of backgrounds they give you to uh, get you started. And that's not even looking at the fact that you're able to later on upload your own backgrounds. Number three, free is more than sufficient for a newbie streamer. That's right, why get all the bells and whistles when you can just use the free one if you are brand new to streaming? Let's hit the cons. Number one, there are some latency and pixelation issues. We've noticed this when, say, a guest jumps in to the stream or you adjust any of your video settings. But these are a slight inconvenience as they iron themselves out about 10 to 30 seconds. Plus, Melon comes from the uh, Streamlabs team, and I'm sure they're going to iron this out in the future. Number two, there is a small learning curve. And I hate to list this as a con because really... I see this as a pro, but we're gonna throw in the con list anyways, because if you're brand new streaming, you've never used any kind of streaming encoding software or a browser-based app to stream, you're gonna find that there is still a slight learning curve, but nowhere as bad as say other encoding software. Number three, and this is probably the biggest one, and that is premium if you want all the bells and whistles. That's right, maybe you've used the free version a handful of times, you are gonna find yourself wanting to unlock all these bells and whistles, and that is gonna require you handing over a little bit of cash. Here's the thing that's pretty much par for course these days and really I don't think that's that bad of a deal. And speaking of that bad of a deal, you definitely want to click the link below in the description or go to livestreamingtech.com forward slash melon to get your free account or access premium on Melon today. And speaking of today, you're definitely gonna wanna check out this video right here where we talk about OBS Facebook Live settings, or you could check this video out right here, which is what YouTube recommends. Until then, we'll see you around.